Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have a very fooling any card at any number card trick that requires no setup at all. It is very easy to do and it is completely impromptu. So I just mentioned three positive things about this card trick. So I think that should tell you that you should learn it because it is pretty cool. So with that being said, let's go ahead and roll the performance. Okay, so here is the performance. I'm going to be using the purple Gemini Casino playing cards. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this trick requires no setup at all. So I'm going to start off the trick by giving the card Cards, a few shuffles and cuts just like this right let me spread the cards facing up so you can see them just like that all mixed up so at this point the spectator has a choice of any card that they like this is truly a free selection so let's say they want uh, this card right here the three of hearts will be their card so go ahead and remember your card the three of hearts will be on the screen right now so you don't forget it I'm gonna take their selection three of hearts place it somewhere into the center of the deck to lose it completely just like that and i'm going to continue and shuffle the cards so that three of hearts is completely lost somewhere into the center i don't know where it's at you don't know where it's at it is truly lost somewhere into the center of this deck right at this point the spectator could go ahead and name any number between 1 and 52 let's say they call out the number 14 we're going to be using 14 right we're going to go ahead and count off the top of the deck 14 cards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen that is the 14 card right there let's see if it is your three of hearts it really is your card the three of hearts in the 14 position so that is this any card at any number card trick hope you guys enjoy it let's teach you how to do it okay everyone so that was the performance now you know how this card trick looks like just get yourself a normal deck of cards and yeah you're ready to learn how this trick works so the first step is i like to give the cards a few shuffles because in a second here you will have your spectator choose a card so once you're done with that as your spectator go ahead and choose a random card this is a free selection so they go ahead and choose a random card in this case the king of diamonds it does not matter if you see it if you do if you don't does not matter so just go ahead and have them memorize their card in this case the king of diamonds and what you're going to do here is you're going to want to act like you're replacing the card somewhere into the center shuffling it up when it really is being controlled to the top of the deck just like that so you can use whatever method you like to use um, in the performance I used a turnover pass which looks something like that I turn it facing up when I really just control the card back to the top or you could do like uh, this method here where you push it and you just do a few cuts to the table and it is on top whatever the method you want to use classic pass Herman turnover pass a few cuts whatever it is just go ahead and make sure at the end of those shuffles the card is controlled to the top of the deck so um, for now I'll be using this method a very simple method it's where you um, place it out dragged in the deck you push it in while pushing down on the card causing the deck to split of where their card is at you're going to swap the thumb break to a pinky break and then just cut off a few packets just like that controlling their card back to the top of the deck just like that right so let's go over that once more place it somewhere to the center you catch a break with your pinky give it a few cuts and their card is now controlled to the top but obviously the spectator thinks that their card is somewhere into the center after you're done with that you could do a few overhand shuffles like how i always do but just making sure the three fingers uh, slide that card down so it stays at the top the whole time just like that right so now that you're done with the shuffles the spectator thinks that their card is somewhere into the center of the deck when it really is on top you're going you're going to ask your spectator to choose a number between 1 and 52 any number that they like we're just going to use the number 14 again so what you're going to do here is you're going to count um the number 14 using the cards off the top of the deck and you're going to going to do this little move so you're going to count one the next card goes at the bottom and the top card you're going to slide over just like that kind of out jog that that makes sense just like that right so we're going to use the number 14 one two the top card with your thumb you're going to slide it forward ca causing it to like out jog i guess that's uh what it will be called and you're just going to continue so that's two three and just make sure that that card is out jogged all the way through so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and i like to stop on that card that um the exact number so in this in this case it is 14 so i have 13 cards here and this is the 14 card so you're in the setup here where you have um the top card kind of out jogged which is their card and then the next card is going to be the exact number that they chose so what you're going to do is you're, using your thumb just push it off for easy access in this next step 
And what you're going to do is you're just going to place the card at the bottom, just like if you're counting the cards like you did before. Just place it at the bottom, grab it with your three fingers, pull it back. In the process of your turning this hand over and grabbing this card, you're stealing it just like that. And it looks like if the card is in that position. Now, like in a very, very slow motion, it doesn't look realistic. But let me show you once again here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, let's square up here that is the 14 card you're gonna push it at the bottom turn over to grab that card just like that right so it's just like you're switching the card it's a very clever switch here and it's pretty easy so you could do it slow you could do it fast and it looks very convincing let me do a full speed here so just to speed up some time here uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and cut off a packet so that is the 14 card just like that the king of diamonds in the 14 position and that is basically what it should kind of look like i'm not too good at it but you get the idea here it is a basically a switch and yeah that is the tutorial on this awesome no setup completely impromptu any card at any number card trick okay everyone so i think that will do it for today's video on this awesome any card at any number card trick it's been a while since i done one of these so i'm happy to have taught another one here on the channel if you did enjoy it make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell on so you're gonna have had every time i post a video so with that being said that is it for me peace out everyone